for this role? Mm -hmm. Because if you make them smaller than you. Let's take a look at employees. I do need to see them all, right? So, but you can just put it in here and paste it. And I think you should be able to make the font smaller. Like at the Homa. You could, or just leave them like that. It's fine with me. So this should be an employee table. And it's important that we talk about the employees in a minute once we start creating the relationships in, the, in our database. So this is an internal agent. Ah, and it's not employee. What do we call them? Oh yeah, it is employees. Employees. <laughs> it's employees. It's important to have accuracy of language. Um, all right, so then that's the employees. What else am I missing? Go with the central one, the retail order sales, which in reality is called just retail sales. Fancy, fancy. Okay. Click, drag above. The event cash receipts. I'm gonna call it retail sales. What kind of uh, class is this? R E A. And we have that duality, right, between the retail sales and the cash receipts. So let's go ahead and connect them right away. This is not a directional connection, so then it will have none. Also, we have to connect your retail customer to the retail sales. Not only are customers paying you, but they're also re receiving or involved in the sell. You see, this is the F, it's your customer. Connected to your retail order sales. So, I lost my mouse. Okay. I guess I could go from here as well. Or or not. Let's do it from this one instead. Nicer. Okay. Go to none. So what about the multiplicities? You just select that again. I guess I press on the gear instead at the multiplicities. Every cell has to have exactly one customer and customers can have zero too many. According to my diagram, I can have one one to zero too many when it comes to this. So let me select the press on the gear and add a multiplicity. And so that is a one one. And you're going to discover that, in fact, we have, I gave you a database with, with exactly one transaction per cash receipt, and it's too late to make, to make a change on it. So, all right. What else? Employees. Employees are associated with retail sales. Twice. So let me bring one from over here to the event. And I wanna make sure that this is clear. So I'm gonna say shipping. And then I'm gonna have another table from employees associated with retail sales. That again, does not have a relationship. I mean, a direction, but it does have a multiplicity and it also has to have a text. So I'm gonna double click on that. And this is called the ordering, correct? We have 
for every cell, we're going to have an employee that's going to do the shipping and one employee that's going to do the ordering. And this is establishing that. Let's look at the multiplicities. I'm going to select this, add a multiplicity. I can only have one employee doing the ordering, and I can only have one employee doing the shipping or a register employee doing the shipping, right? That means you cannot help that employee. He or she has to ship on their own, right? Now, I'm going to move this a little bit further so you can see the, the multiplicities to, for both. Let me make sure that's the case. Well, five and six should be zero and many. All right. So I am hesitant to finish this without giving you some room to create this on your own. But it should look like this. So what am I missing? I'm missing the relationship between the cell. I already have it. How about the employee? Who's going to receive the cash receipt as an employee? That has to be here as well. Oof. I'm stuck. Oh, I already did it. I just couldn't see it. So an employee can have zero too many cash receipts, but they I'm going to delete it, guys. There you go. And then I can pull this over here, make this none. And then I can add the multiplicity quickly. And so every time I have a cash receipt, we have one employee associated with that cash receipt, and then we employee can have zero or no cash receipt. Not every employee has a cash receipt associated with them. So that's taking care of that. Let me pause this.